Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 near Carlsbad, New Mexico at my boondocking site. And uh, yeah, look around. I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere for sure. I've got my solar set up, everything's in peace and harmony except for one thing. I just want to give you a heads up on it and then this will be the end of the video. Whenever you're out boondocking, particularly if you're new to being out in the country alone, uh, don't create monsters where there are none, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to give you a prime example. I've been here for four days. Wind blows at night sometimes pretty hard, and and you hear these strange noises. You know, the and you think that surely there's some ghost or 12 monsters out there ready to kill you or eat you, or both. But anyway, so what I did... I kept hearing this one noise. It was really a weird noise too. It was, it was, it was a ghostly sound, and I thought, "Oh my God, how lucky can I be? Somebody's body's buried here, and it's haunted or something." Be that as it may, after much searching, trying to find out where the sound was coming from, the wind just happened to be blowing very hard yesterday evening, and I was hearing it loud, pretty loud and it would but it'd come and it'd go it'd come and it'd go and i thought jesus what is this thing you know so gradually i walked around i tracked it you know i walked over to this old this is an old, old abandoned gas well uh, hadn't been in use in a long time and that's a windsock for the 10th time somebody told me anyway <clears throat> But I kept trying to track down that sound, and I could not find it. I hope there's not much wind. I mean, I'm trying to keep the wind out. I've got my little mic on. Maybe it's helping. But I finally, after much ado, and man, I mean, I checked everything. Well, let me show you where it was. Let me get up here, and I'll give you a close-up of it. Okay, what it is at this wellhead right here okay which is no longer in use there's this little pipe this pipe right here you see the duct tape there guess who put that there i did because when you pull this but i didn't i didn't tape it i just stuck it up here to block the wind you see that gap and if i move it up you'll hear it Well, you may not be able to hear it because when the mic is on my chest, but that little two and a half inch gap caused me some sleepless moments. All right, because it's just like a flute. You know, you blow air across an opening, and what do you get? Sound. But be that as it may, that's about all I wanted to say. I'll pan around here. Now that's the official place up there where those RVs are. Maybe I can. Zoom a little bit and you can see them better. But there's five RVs there. There's a fire ring. But I'm down about a quarter of a mile from that. And why? Because uh, that's just the kind of guy I am. And, and I've been here before several times. And, and nobody ever comes down this road anyway. I mean, uh, over here, there's a gate. Uh, I've, I've been here off and on probably for a total of a month, you know, over a period of five years and have never seen a car knock on wood. I don't want to see one. But anyway, the west is, of course, that way. Got my solar pointed directly at it. Batteries are full, got water, so life is good for the boondockers, right? But again, the purpose of the video was to point out that whenever you're out in the wilderness by yourself, you can, you can, in your mind, create situations that are not real, okay? Even me, I'm 72 years old. I grew up in the country in South Texas. I mean, I'd go walking at night I, and, you know, cattle around and stuff, you know, and there's cows here. There's their, there's their fingerprints or such, or so you could say. But yeah, they have, they're not around here today, thank goodness. But yeah, they come around and visit every now and then. But having said that, guys, from somewhere near Carlsbad, New Mexico, this is a beautiful day, got a light breeze out of the west, and the west wind is the prevalent wind here, or has been since I've been here. Uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, it was 33 miles an hour all day, okay? And that happens out here in the high desert, it really does. 
So anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything your little heart desires, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I'm an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission, and it doesn't cost you a dime. So if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, why not use the link, okay? But anyway, what else? You know, drink plenty of water, you know, particularly if you're out here in the middle of nowhere in the desert where the humidity right now is about 15 to 18% or less, and they call that high. Uh, what else? Uh, stretch, walk. Oh, no, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because it uh, lowers your stress. <laughs> God, if you have stress out here, it's because of that crap I just showed you, that... <laughs> No, it was loud. It, you know, when the wind was blowing hard, it'd get loud. And then, of course, the wind would lie just a little bit, or, or and, and then it would go away. And then here it would come back again. Boy, did I create, I created everything in my mind you can think of. Anyway, drink plenty of water, stand guard at the door of your mind, keep your health, walk, stretch, and all that stuff. And uh, anyway, enjoy your life. And if you ever want to go boondocking, do it. Do, yeah, there's no fear, man. As far as everybody stealing crap from you, maybe they do. I don't know. They haven't stolen anything from me. I mean, I went in town day and left the solar out, you know, uh, you know, and that's the way I am. Because you, if, you, if you live in a world of total paranoia, you're going to be totally miserable, okay? But that's your choice. That's your choice. And I run, always run risk. That's the way I've always been, and I've been 72, 72 years of practice. So third, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, guys. Enjoy your life one day at a time. Have a good weekend. Or let's see, yeah, I guess.